Hi guys, my name is Luma and we are playing Oxygen Not Included. This will be a mixture of a let's play combined with specific objectives for every couple of cycles. Today is about getting moral, building the barracks, a latrine and a recreation room. But first we need to go back. We are going to play on a regular asteroid. This was played in the DLC but it works the same way in the base game. Let's start a game. As you can see, with the power of editing I already chose some duplicates. I'm going to start with a builder, a digger and a researcher. Normally I want them to have plus 9 in their respective trait. This is where the base game is slower, because you don't get such good starting values there. The randomly generated name fits, so I think let's go. And immediately stop it with the spacebar. We are going to set their priorities straight, everyone works in the field which they are good at. What this does is, they will prioritize their type of work before their work anywhere else. Next up is the schedule. We are giving them one more slot of work and we are keeping the downtime so they sleep one hour less. Next up is checking your surroundings. Down there I can see a food reserve or a future nature reserve. There's a lot of water for later use. This could be a park and we could uproot this bluff briar. Up there this is a giant nature reserve and I think we are going to use it for that. Next up is where to put a bathroom and where to get copper ore. There's a little bit of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is very important for our future food storage. Why is this important? Because I don't want to put my food storage down in the basement. There's only a tiny amount of copper to the right of our printing pot. We will need the copper for our research and our doors and up there is a giant cave full of copper and coal. First we are going to build the latrines because your dupes will pee on the floor and they will pee on your water if you don't build them first. Because of the giant water pocket to our left we are going to build a bathroom to the right. Since we need a little bit of space for our power generation, our research station and our batteries we are gonna dig a little bit to the left. While our dupes are occupied digging and placing the ladders for the next rooms like the bedroom on top of the bathroom or the recreation room. I want my bathroom to be 16 by 4 tiles but in the first cycle we don't need it to be that big so we just gonna make it a little bit smaller. I tried to avoid digging up that oxalite there but it's easier to just remove it. I skipped a couple of seconds of digging. So now we're going to place the door for the bathroom or the so-called latrine. Normally I place two wash basins and two latrines on the first cycle so two of my duplicates can go to the toilet and do their business while another duplicate is eating. To make these wash basins and outhouses count as a latrine we need to close off the room. I also wanted duplicates to mop up all that water because that gives a moral debuff. Even though I thought about the base layout for the core base, I totally forgot about a pitcher pump. So now I think we are going to expand the bathroom a little bit and put the pitcher pump there. Jump ahead a little bit to where I figured it out and set the arrow on the wash basin to the left so the duplicates only clean their hands when they leave the toilet not enter it. The next priority for the needs of our duplicants is the bedroom. So we are going to build a barrack over there, which will give them plus one moral and they don't have to sleep on the floor, which gives them an achy bag. If you didn't know, you can set all the doors to open, so this saves a fraction of a second every time a dupe passes through the door. After placing the beds, here they are called cords, make sure to close off the room so it counts as one. Now that we are planted the barracks, I want to build the research station, the power generator and the battery. But there is no more metal, so I think I'm going to replace this tile on the floor. Another important point is to check the ration box, check the cooking ingredients and set the priority to high. So every time the dupes find a maku, they will bring it back immediately instead of touching it with their germy hands first after they use the toilet or something like that. Bert, I can see you digging up that copper. Thank you very much. So we can finally build our research station and the batteries and the power generator. Power cables will give off a negative decor so it's better to run them through the floor. It's not very important in the beginning but you can do it anyway. When you run a power cable through a natural tile and not a constructed one they will dig up that tile. As you can see Abe doing here because I wasn't paying attention to be honest. I'm just gonna place some digging orders and some floor tiles and skip to the next step. 
And since we are playing horrendously slow, we are just now placing the power generator and the batteries. Also let's give the bed a higher priority so they finish this before the cycle ends. Now we can check the room overlay and see that we have a latrine which is plus one morale and a bedroom which is plus one morale. Also each duplicate starts with plus one and we gave them one more downtime slot which comes in handy later. I expanded the ladder system a little bit so they should finally be done with the power system and power the research station. Now that the research station is powered we can go for our next step which is building the recreation room which we need the interior design for. Disclaimer, I totally forgot to hook up the cable to Bird's hamster wheel so we are going to see duplicates running a lot of times and the battery not filling up because well, I'm done. Since there's still time left on the first cycle, I think we can go for a recreation room and the start of a great hall, which we are just going to dig up a little bit of a room for. By the way, I don't really care about food gathering in the first cycles because you can see those cracks I'm digging up right now. Every crack has a chance to have a mugroot or a critter, which both can be used as food. Sometimes there's a seed in there which you can use for um, planting somewhere or as a crop. There's the end of the first cycle, so the duplicates will go to the toilet, eat and then sleep. Since I screwed up a couple of times, like with the batteries or with the bathroom, there could have been more digging for a recreation room or the great hall, but I think it's fine for the first cycle. For the second cycle I want to focus on the great hall and the recreation room. Also I'll be expanding the bedroom. The bedroom's gonna be bigger than it needs to be because I want to prepare for another dupe and I want to get to the copper. The great hall is very important for the moral of the duplicants because it will give a giant boost of plus 6 and it's super easy to achieve. Muckroot is not the best food source, but still it's free, so why not use it? So I'm clicking every Muckroot and every usable bluff briar, which gets enough light here. The tool I'm using is the tiny little sickle on the right side of the monitor. I skipped some digging and looking around here. And now that the research is available, we can go and research the employment, which gives us the recreation room. Speaking of which, I'm going to place it right next to the Great Hall. But then I thought about it and I'm going to expand it to the ladder. After that I will quickly close off the great hall. You may remember me saying that the carbon dioxide on the top comes in handy. This is why, because I'm planning our food storage there. As you can see the placement for the great hall was deliberate, because on top of the great hall is our future nature reserve and to the left is our food storage. So every duplicant who wants to get some food has to go through the nature reserve and grab some food, come back to the Great Hall. So they get plus 6 from the nature reserve and they get plus 6 from the Great Hall. To make the recreation room functional, we need a decor item, so we are going to put the flower pot in there and dig up a bluff briar to put in the flower pot. Secondly, you will need a recreation building, i.e. the water cooler. The Great Hall also needs a decor and recreation room item, so you will see me put those same two items in there later. By the way, this is where I finally noticed that I haven't connected the batteries. The next step after closing all the rooms off is researching again. We either go for advanced research or we are going for the latrines, which are the better sanitation systems and give the duplicants more moral. To further our research, we need an advanced research station and I think we are just going to place it inside of the recreation room because it doesn't count as an industrial building and therefore will not interfere with our room overlay. The duplicant spent the rest of the day digging. To recap the cycle, we expanded the bedroom, we expanded the bathroom, we planned ahead the recreation room and the great hall and the supercomputer placement. But since I didn't notice the problem with the batteries, the recreation room isn't already done. On the next cycle I'm closing off the nature reserve, planting the bluff briar and building the water cooler. And since I miscounted the bathroom we need to rip out the already existing stuff and expand it again. By the way the game calls this a washroom not a bathroom but I'm continuously making this mistake. I want there to be enough space for at least two lavatories, two sinks and four showers. To conclude that would be a room of 16 by 4. After that we want to prepare for the more fancy bathroom with the showers, the latrine and sinks, which will need some piping 
and we need to replace the floor with some floor tiles. Otherwise, when we run the piping through it, they will be destroyed. To finally finish the recreation room, we need to close off the room by placing a horizontal door here, putting some water in the water cooler, and if you think of it, you can immediately turn it off because the dupes will waste your water. I was considering putting the supercomputer right there behind the door, but then I remembered you don't need the doors because the supercomputer doesn't count as an industrial building, so the recreation room stays a recreation room. I've noticed the dupes running far to fulfill their tasks, so I enabled the proximity here. What that means is the dupes will do their prioritized task, which is nearest to them first. The research is done, so the supercomputer can finally be researched. As I was placing the latrines in our expanded bathroom, it finally was that time of the circle again, where we can choose a new duplicate or some materials. The new duplicate at this point is very important because they come with one skill point. The skill point can be put in advanced research, so the new duplicate is our researcher for the supercomputer. After welcoming Trivaldo to the base, we are going to give him a new schedule, so he can work while the other duplicates sleep. First off, I'm going to make all of the slots work slots, then I'm going to shift the first shift a couple of slots to the right, and give him the same two slots of bedtime and two slots of downtime. I also like to give them bath time, so they can shower when their shower finally finished. The only thing that needs to be prepared now is to give him the advanced research skill. Continuing the bathroom, I'm just going to place the two sinks, because we got interrupted by the dupe. The latrines and sinks will be connected to water input, which will be connected to water pump, the water output here shown, will be connected to water sieve, which filters the polluted water and recycles it as clean water later in the game. Bird was so generous to finish the door, and now we have the recreation room, the barracks, and the latrine. The next research is already done. I'm going to expand the crate for a little bit and we are going to research correspondingly for the Great Hall the meal preparation. It's just enough time to place a supercomputer for the next cycles. Since it's already downtime, let's recap what we achieved this cycle. We have a recreation room, a barrack and a latrine, dug the Great Hall and planned two nature reserves as well as the sterile food storage and started research for meal preparation. Our moral should be around plus 4, we have enough food left for the next cycles and oxygen isn't sparse. Before I tell you the goals for cycle 4, you can see me deactivating the water cooler here to save on some water. Let's check out the room overlay and see that the supercomputer does not influence the recreation room. The goal for cycle 4 is what I could have already started, like the crate hall, the nature reserve and the sterile food storage. As well as building the bathroom, not using it, and I like to have a dedicated room for the water filtration, the water sieve. But at this moment right now I'm placing the cables for the supercomputer, so it gets energy. Finally I can place the second ration box, which will be our future food storage, in a pitfall, which will fill up with carbon dioxide. I am not really sure why I placed the ladder there first, but now we are going to exchange it for some floor tiles. Now that the food storage is planned, it's time to bother about the oxygen production. In a game called Oxygen Not Included, on the fourth cycle, that's pretty leisurely. I am using the oxygen diffuser here. This will produce 500 grams of oxygen a second, while each dupe will use 100 grams of oxygen a second. The dupes are gathering some wild growing muck food and placing the food in the new food storage. It's finally time for the interior design of the Great Hall. We definitely need one water cooler and one decor item which will be a flower pot with a bluff briar again. Then each duplicate will get their dedicated mess table. You can see me building two more tables here. I also built two more beds for the barracks. While the building was done, the research was also done. So we can research for the next step, which will be the park sign. Quick check for the room overlay. Then back to building and planning. First off, we need to connect our oxygen generator to our power. And I'm guessing we are going to need another battery because the energy consumption of the supercomputer is quite high. I personally like to have a dedicated filtration room where the water sieve is located as well as a water storage and some other stuff that off gases polluted oxygen. You can see me trying to figure out the exact layout here. I like to do that with the floor tiles then replace the floor tiles with some digging commands. 
Now that all that is finished, it's almost the end of the cycle again. And there's the notion for the downtime. Let's check what we achieved. We have the Great Hall, the Recreation Room, the Barracks and the Latrine. Combined this should be around plus 9 moral, plus or minus 1 or 2 because of the respective traits of the duplicants. We built a sterile food storage. The oxygen production is running now. We included sleeping and eating places for two more duplicants. The filtration room has been planned. Research is progressing and we achieved to build one more battery. We are down to 14,000 calories, but that's a task for another cycle. So guys, if you liked what you saw, give me a like. If you have constructive criticism or some suggestions, please do write them down in the comment section. I will try to improve. Love you and Luma out.